Professor Peter Hangi, we both lived in 20th century and now we live in 21st century. What is the position of science in society in this century in comparison to the previous century? The same? Yeah, <laughs> well, the same or, or not the same? Well, s science has not changed uh, between the last 45 years or 50 years so much. Of course, questions become a political issue and are more central than they were before, but uh, it's important questions have been around before. Nowadays, there's a hype on energy, right? But energy issues is now, poli everybody talks about uh, storage and conversion of energy because of its energy and uh, atomic nuclear power problems. But this was an important question already in the last century. And we everybody works on it. And uh, uh, three years ago, we had the climate, right? Remember the climate discussion? Now, all of a sudden, the climate is not so important. And sometimes now it's the energy, right? The last two. It's a so the political people like to always have something which they hype. It comes and goes. But the questions in science have been around before. And one thing which you should tell all politicians is throwing money at scientists to solve a problem does not solve the problem. Because either the problem is solvable in the quotient of the, as, a, as a function of time, just giving a lot of money doesn't make the solution come by faster. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is, for example, something that politicians don't understand. Uh, recently, there was a discussion that said, who is the expert here in energy like that? And said, well, we don't really have experts in Germany on this. And said, how can that be? We spent 100 millions and so on. But of course, you see, science cannot be solved by just throwing in money. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes questions can be solved to a certain degree, and other things need more time. Mm -hmm. Uh, what is the position of physics among other uh, sciences? I, I, I think about, for example, molecular biology, which now is more and more important than, than as, uh, uh, other branches of science. What is your opinion about Well, let this? me travel a little bit in history. I mean, you typically, you know, physics had a very good time in the last centuries because we solved a lot of important phenomena which led to uh, new technologies like uh, the, invent, uh, the aerodynamics led to airplanes, uh, the evolution of uh, heat engines led to cars and things like that and when we had the nuclear energy coming about and uh, also the good and the bad about it and we had uh, solid state physics giving us superconductivity, things like that so we were really having a lot of good press and nanoscience has been starting still as a good press. Now, of course, there are other areas which are more closest to human's mind. Of course, everybody doesn't want to become sick, so the medicine, biological sciences are closer to society, and these are important questions too, which, of course, all need physics. And unfortunately, physics is hard to study, but not well paid, and people go into other areas uh, because you can also somehow uh, make a better living from it. Mm -hmm. And physics is unfortunately not a field which is easy. Huh? I mean, uh, if a good physicist usually thinks almost 24 hours on physics and is not the perfect uh, human being for a family life, right? Whereas uh, biology, as I see, biology has this hype and it's also very important, but the c deep questions of biology involve physics, but it's more than physics. And it's, I think it's a, co a give and take. It's good that biology is now more into the, in the news, because it was a bit under-evaluated. It was biology by now. It's not just plant biology and listening and making, looking at pictures. Now we have more uh, going from qualitative biology also to quantitative biology. So it becomes more and more also a quantitative science, which makes a big difference which was not like that before. But we are still at a very early age. I think uh, biology is something like we had probably in the 18th century with physics. We had a few laws like the mechanics at the beginning of electromagnetic laws, and, and biology is still at that level. Mm -hmm. And the important questions uh, will probably be become very complex soon also. Okay, your country and our, our country now belongs to the European community.
-hmm. What do you think about the common politics with respect to science in Europe now? Well, each of the country has its own uh, science foundation, like it's, uh, I think here it's called FNP or something like that, or... Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. and and the Germany, we have the German Research Foundation, DFG in Germany, and now we have these European programs, so-called COLS, Marie Curie, also uh, FP5, FP6, F, uh, these focus programs. And uh, again, this is uh, too much bureaucracy, in my opinion. And uh, Is it okay or not, this direction? I, I, I think it's, I in some sense, uh, it is okay how research is evaluated is another issue. But the fact that European has now European programs, I think, is good. And now we have, for example, the startup grants, uh, junior, uh, so to speak, what they call the uh, European startup grants. And usually most of the money is a bit uneven distributed because most of the money goes to experienced countries like Germany and France and Italy. And with it and other countries have very little of such advanced grants so far, which has to do, of course, with the science being better established over the last 50, 80 years. Yeah? But overall, I think it's not a bad idea. The evaluation of such programs and how it's being distributed, that's a, another question. Mm. But it's much better to put in money into science than to put it in something else, mm. which might be less useful. Mm -hmm. In Poland now, we start transformation in science and higher school. So before we haven't, in, in fact, in science, no competition. Now we have some new law regulations and we, s we, w we start to be in, uh, in the red race, for uh, uh, how uh, uh, I will call this. So what, what is your, your message for us, because you have some experience in competition in society where competition is v was very important and still, yes, we, we want to l learn this competition. I do not quite understand the question completely. Uh, of course, competition between what? Be competition in science, between scientists. Between ah, competition, scientists. No, okay, so you don't talk about the school system versus university system. Yeah. You talk about, for example, competition among scientists uh, on, yeah. uh, un, uh, on grants on the yeah, university yeah. level. Like in Germany, we have a so called. And also real grant. evaluations of our achievements, our results in science, and so on. Well, there is certainly too much of evaluation. It takes a lot of time, and not so much is coming out after all. And I don't like this centralization that uh, to say that this university is now very good and has become stronger. It really ruins a lot of creativity because most people, the scientists are usually not doing the science they want to do. They just do the science because they see money or they they have to be partners. That's a, that's a bad thing of these coalitions of, of competition that in order to be successful you need a, a, a critical mass in order to say we do now, for example, high temperature physics research. So we need a certain amount of people. But most people would like their total interest and creativity is in a side field. But now they distort their interest just to be part of the program. Because the programs have become bigger and politicians like, oh yeah, we give to Katowice this, to Krakow this, and so on and so on. But the best science still is done if you have time to think on an individual level. And nowadays we're becoming a bit uh, trapped that we uh, try to have collaborators and we do things not because we want to do it desperately, but we want to see the money. We want to get the money in order to support our activities, which is not maybe the best way. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, the administration and universities evaluate when success or non-success with respect to who brings in most of the money to not, which is also debatable. Huh? Not all, of course, is bad, but it's also not all good. Mm -hmm. That's I, I, I'm not a very much friend because I go back, if I compare my time when I had very little money and very few collaborators, I must say some of that work is probably much better than now I have a lot of money. I can pay you money <laughs> to visit me and I have a lot of more money, up to a million euros per year. But I wouldn't say that the science has become proportionally better with the amount of more money. Mm -hmm. Let's change the subject of our discussion. What, like what, about, uh, what about teaching and students 
in Germany, students in physics, of course, yeah. because in Poland we have the problem with students, high level students and physics. W is it the same problem in Germany or not? Well, physics, uh, well, we have a s uh, similar problems also in Germany and as a matter of fact in the Western uh, civilizations that the fields of chemistry and physics become less and less attractive as compared to how it was 10 years ago. And because other areas uh, are more attractive, like life sciences, law, and things like that, information sciences, of course, there's also more splitting up into sub-areas. But it's really so that uh, the students really s realize that physics is probably a very tough subject to study. And, uh, and the career in physics is for most people, it doesn't look too bright. And who, el who makes a lot of money in physics, or a decent amount of money, is also not so bright that future. I don't know, compared to lawyers, which always make money uh, from many divorces or, and criminals and so on, which are always, where will always be enough divorce cases and uh, criminals around. And in physics, to make a good career, and then people say, I live only once, and, and so some of the best people don't go into natural science anymore. Mm -hmm. And this, I realize, uh, is a, 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 a not a political, but a mankind issue, a society type issue, that, uh, uh, because that's actually an interesting question, because 50, 60 years ago, to study physics or being a physicist, you, you had some respect, the society wa has a certain respect and value it with as, a, as something which is a higher degree or a, a good level or, or with respect. Mm -hmm. Nowadays, uh, they make fun of it. You are a physicist, you are one of those guys who does atomic bombs or nuclear reactors and so on. So have a more bad feeling about mm -hmm. it. And that, of course, is also something that's why uh, all these very determined ones. So the numbers go down and maybe also the overall quality goes down. That's essentially what I see. In England, in France, in Germany, in the US in particular, there's almost no US born people studying physics. It's different in the Tiger States. In Asia, where I also have a position over there, in order for a country to compete with the old fashioned uh, Western standards like Europe and Germany and England, they really put in a lot of money and uh, they motivate young people to go into science. How long that will last, I don't know, but it's certainly true for the Chinese, for s Singapore, Japan, now it's a bit different, so having uh, some problems. And even Australia puts in a lot, has a no problem mm -hmm. with science. So it's funny that in the Asian part, uh, they have lots of the brightest students still going to natural sciences. In our case, we're going to these new areas you mentioned before. What did you say, uh, so to speak? Uh, uh, cognitive biology, proteomics, and some life sciences, and mm -hmm. also information sciences and law. Yeah, uh, we now in our Institute of Physics propose uh, new, 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 new programs of studies. Mm -hmm. So, for example, we propose to study econophysics, biophysics, medical physics, technical physics. Do you think that it is correct to, 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 to propose for young people a richer, richer proposition for studies? Maybe it would be the solution to, 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 to propose richer, richer proposition. I think it Physics with something. Yeah, I, I think if there is a market for those people who study that, it's certainly also something which a department should think about. For example, also. You, you mentioned now uh, econophysics, uh, I would also mention medical physics, for example. If there is a market, one definitely has to adhere to it and uh, make a program so that this uh, uh, expertise is being brought to students, because obviously this is an area which is new and uh, part of our new society, so we need also good people in that area. The problem is that typically we are not prepared to such things because the older generation doesn't have enough experts or experience in this. But that is maybe not so bad either because in information sciences, we also started out with uh, small s universities and it took some gen half a generation before other people become broad knowledge. 
and one has to give it some time. It's definitely wrong to refuse such directions. Of course, one should not uh, do everything at the same time. Maybe one should specialize it, but I don't think it is correct to say we, st we don't do such things. We stick to our old ca uh, canon, so to speak. We just uh, uh, teach as we were taught ourselves. We keep the same curriculum as it was 25 years ago. That's certainly the wrong solution. So uh, it's correct to actually adjust this. Mm. But one nevertheless should, much more dangerous is to give superficial physics, to make everything too easy. That's a danger. Uh, to cut down the number of semesters. Everybody wants to have a quick education. Everything has to be fast. You cannot uh, start the, everything should, you should get the diploma. This bachelor master program is for something is a bit dangerous. Huh? Mm -hmm. Because the uh, diploma thesis uh, gets less and less value. Um, because uh, you people don't get enough time to do a reasonable thesis. You have to sometimes you have to do a thesis in four or five months, and in four or five months, we all know that you can basically only do a copy-paste thing, but not something a little bit creative. And, uh, and the people live much longer. That's an issue you don't understand. The politicians want all the uh, young people having their degree at a young fast. Faster, faster. They study too long, they say, right? But on the other hand, everybody gets 100 years old. So why not study a bit slower and more intensively? and when people should get also their money, very good money, if they start uh, at, for example, 32. Not just um, industry wants to have these people very young, and this is more a political issue, which this, I think, is it's wrong to educate people uh, fa on a faster time scale because there's too much information around, any around them anyhow. And in order to something which goes in, in depth, they need more time. Mm -hmm. So finally, can I ask you to, to say something optimistic for our students and for our candidates for students of physics? Well, that's easy because uh, there have always been bright people around. There will be always bright people and there will be always students which are uh, extremely inspiring uh, for the professors. and. The fortunate uh, thing as a professor in doing teaching and doing research is that he has this give and take and he meets those uh, bright kids which stimulate him with sometimes no more uh, and bring in new ideas, whereas the older ones usually are a little bit blocked or don't like to think along new ways. And this uh, interaction, a profession where uh, a 60-year-old person like me can interact with a 25-year-old student is really something special, which I think will continue and will uh, nurture the, uh, 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 the field and essentially will be good for the uh, society as a whole. Thank you very much, Professor Peter Hanke. Thank you.